Well, good morning. It is the moment we've all been waiting for. I don't know if you've been waiting for it, but I have. Hold on, you're real dirty. Let me wipe you off there. Okay, what I have been waiting for, Snowcat's home, finally. I'm super excited, and as you can see, it's like all super dusty and stuff because I've been driving all around my yard and basically rototilling everything, which I'm sure my wife's not gonna be happy about the way the driveway looks, but it was fun, so. This is it. This is a 1985 Tucker Snowcat. And it's got the six-way blade on the front. It doesn't go side to side. It um, up, down, angles each way, and then tilts forward and back. And the way this is scooped like that, when you roll it forward, you get more of a crowned road. And when you roll it back, you get more of a troughed road. So depending on what you're trying to do, you roll it forward and back. But it has all the hydraulic ports in the front got some big old gnarly cleats on it which is why my driveway is all tore up now and uh, it's got two more sets of hydraulic ports in the back to run a tiller or a groomer off the back which I will never do but that means I can put a hydraulic winch on the back if I want to I don't know if I'll do that or not it does have hitch receiver on the back which is awesome and in the back here I hosed this out uh, yesterday but driving it all around I got a little dusty again Big huge fuel tanks, seating for four people on each side. And then up there we have the dog house over the engine compartment, which is like a giant bed, but the kids, the dogs can all sit on that. Uh, these are a bunch of spare parts I gotta organize. It's a track clamp, uh, spare belting for the tracks, flex coals for splicing them, and all the stuff to go along with that. You see they've been spliced. It's a fairly common thing with these cats. Um, four track steering four wheel steer whatever you want to call it when these tracks turn that way these ones turn that way so that whatever path these ones make through the snow these ones follow in the exact same path so that if you're going through deep powder both sets aren't trying to push through powder at the same time in here we have that is a chrysler 360 v8 and uh just need some cleanup on the wiring stuff it actually runs really really good and then it's behind it has an Allison automatic transmission, goes to a divorce transfer case, driveline brake on that. So no brakes actually out at the wheels here. It's all on that one, that right there is your one and only brake. So if you blow drive lines, you have no brakes, but that's what the blade's for. So inside of this thing, have two seats, which I'm sure you're shocked to see. But uh, since it's, that four track steer not a skid steer like a dozer cat it actually runs a steering wheel has your you know automatic transmission controls here this is for the blade all your different blade controls on this one function these two levers here run those two hydraulic ports in the back for when you're running a tiller or a groomer or whatever uh, it needs a little bit of cleaning up uh, it needs all new headliner insulation which is easy i'm going to put some more windows in the back over the seats. Finish putting the headliner all in here so it's nice and quiet. This is like a huge bed, I could sleep in here. But as far as like running and driving, it runs and drives great. Um, fires right up, runs smooth, cruises all around. That hydraulic ram has a little bit of a leak, but I think on the shelf right there, I actually have another one that's that same size I can throw right on, so no big deal. This blade guard here is a little bent, but that's not the actual blade. It's just the back guard there. Gonna switch it to all LED lights, get rid of those, and probably take out all the old school type of switches it has and put one of the switch pods in there, like exactly the same one I have in the tow truck because they work really, really well. And then uh, it's got strobe light on top, but probably switch that out for a better light bar too. All the lights work. It's got heated mirrors. Uh, it's got a whole separate heater in the back here as you can see right there. Even the dome lights inside work and everything. Uh, this folds up and then that folds down. I'm gonna make it so when that folds down, there's a ladder to go up or stairs, whatever ladder thing to get in and out. Um, that needs some struts to hold it up, but when I put the new struts on the back of my Cherokee because the old ones were worn out and didn't quite hold that up anymore. I kept the old ones and I can put them here. And since this is way lighter than 
that hatch, those old worn out ones that didn't hold up that, should hold up this just fine. I'm tired of getting swung back and forth yet. But I am super, super pumped about this thing. Uh, definitely got a lot of project to do here. The windows are a big one. Some tool and gear storage. I don't know if I want to put a roof rack on it or not. Probably not. But I do want to, on one side or the other, maybe put ski and snowboard racks. So when friends all go out skiing, we can put everything there and they can climb in the back. I don't know if toolbox down in the side right here would be a good idea or not. And then the one thing is, of course, paint the whole thing red once we're done with it. So that'll be interesting because I'm definitely not a painter. Yeah, but it is, as far as running and driving, good to go. Um, just all the upgrades and updates that I want to do to it for me and what I'm going to do. Um, it's all that it really needs. We can... Really? That's the longest it's ever taken to start, of course, when I'm filming. Normally it fires right up, but you see it runs. Nice and smooth. Normally it's just crank it and you're done. That's the longest it's ever taken to start. But yeah, I gotta clean up all this little wiring stuff like this. It's got all that out, which a lot of that is gonna be gutting all these switches and put an actual switch pod here. And that will solve that problem. It uh, needs a new power plug there. The fan works, which is good. So we need that. Windshield's cracked, but the windshield's cracked in everything I own, so big deal. Yeah, I am super pumped about this thing and really excited to get it going. So, got some work to do. Gonna put um, another receiver. For a winch somewhere on the front i'm not sure how exactly i'm going to get a front winch on here yet with the blade in the way or how i'm going to route that one thing i kind of almost thought is to put a receiver tube under the bottom of the blade frame so that when you lift the blade up you can put the winch in and run it underneath but that's probably dumb but that'd be a nice way to get a good low pull in the back's easy because it has a hitch receiver so my receiver mount will go right in there few little things to do like there's a crack here in the blade frame but these things are built to be fairly lightweight for as big as they are so that they float on the snow so little cracks like that are just to be expected and part of the deal one thing I would really 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 love to do is uh, switch those out to Terra tracks which are an all rubber track kind of like what a skid steer or mini excavator has no metal cleats they still get great traction uh, in the snow, but they can go right down the road, smooth as can be, don't tear up the dirt in the road. And for what I'm gonna be doing with it, doing the off-road recovery, that's really gonna be what would be the way to go. Um, because I'm gonna have to unload this thing and drive it up some actual road to get into the deep powder, so I'm gonna take the tow truck up in the deep, deep powder. So it will be going down the actual road some, and these big old gnarly deep powder cleats are gonna be a little on the rough side so I would eventually like to switch this thing to Terra tracks but uh, those are more expensive than the whole cat was so unless uh, someone at Tucker wants to sponsor me a set of Terra tracks hint hint um, I don't think that's gonna happen for a while so we'll be running with these and just dealing with a little bit rougher ride and chewing up the ground a little bit until I save a few pennies for some some Terra tracks but Oh, and if anyone at Tucker sees this, which is highly unlikely because nobody watches this, um, I need a new emblem. This one's broken and I don't like that. So, for some reason, out of all the things on this, that bothers me the most. So, that's the snowcat. Um, I'm in the dark now, you probably can't see me. Oh, check that out, way better. Um, that's the snowcat. That's going to be our new project to get ready for uh, this winter. The other thing I'm going to do before winter is switch it to electronic fuel injection. So that all the different altitudes runs great and cold starts no problem but yeah got a little bit of summer left we got some time to work on this and uh, it's gonna be a fun project and be even more fun this winter when we start using it so we will definitely keep you guys updated on videos as i make some progress on this thing and then as soon as the snow starts falling we'll get out in the in the hills with it so 
that's it for this one. Just want to give you guys a quick tour of the snowcat and uh, see you next time.